Palpatine protection. Mm. Just on the wall already? <laughs> you know, Freddie my kid. There's a picture hanging on my wall. Oh, it go. There's a picture hanging on my wall. Yes. That's you. Well, it's good to be here. And I must first acknowledge the presence of our guest speaker, Paula Llewellyn, DPP, a woman who is most outstanding in her presentations and her actions. I want you to really give her a big round of applause. She always take it to them. I must also acknowledge the Director of Tourism and, and to say that it's good to see you here. And um, I'm going to put a little pressure on you, right? But I know you're equal to the task. I also want to acknowledge Mrs. Jacobs Bonnick on the British Council who has been very, very supportive of culture and the entertainment industry. And thank you for all the support you have given us. My good friend Robert Bryan and my other good friend Cordell Green and all my brothers and sisters out there because I mean, I see all the faces and if I try to name everyone, it would be longer than my presentation. Tony, I mean, it's just nice to see all of your face in another place. I really feel good tonight. And of course, I must acknowledge the media. So, oh, I'm to tell this the real story about Bojo. You really want to hear? I don't like to take tales out of school. But what I can say is that Bojo served this time. He's now a free man. And we are 100 percent in support of him. He's one of the most talented artists that Jamaica has ever produced. And if you notice, he did not come back on a flight of the Portis. He came back on a flight as a free man. And he was given special assistance going through customs and immigration to the disappointment of the many fans who waited outside. There is a story behind all of that. That's all I can say. And if I wanted to go to the airport, I would have been there. My prime minister would not have stopped me. Okay? And you all know me. Don't you? Okay. But, you know, sometimes it's best to do what you have to do without making a production of it or exploiting a situation. And all I have to say tonight is welcome home, Mojo. We love you. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Oh, I did not acknowledge my advisor on sports, Ali McNabb. And former senator, the first Rasta, the first and only Rasta, real Rasta senator, to have been appointed a senator. And she was not appointed as a representative of a political party. In those days, she was appointed an independent senator. But she's my good friend. Tonight, I'm both honored and excited to be here at the launch of Rebel Salute 2019, celebrating the birthday of one of reggae's most prominent icons, Tony Rebel. This event has succeeded in capturing the best in artistry, innovation, and consciousness. Among the signature features of Rebel Salute is its unabashed presentation of our Jamaican and African heritage. Tony Rebel and Rebel Salute understand the importance 
of presenting to our people the dignity and integrity of our African ancestry as represented by Rastafari culture and ideology. It is about positioning Africa at the center of our creative and cultural consciousness, inspiring our people to stand proud in promoting our heritage. It is about deepening the knowledge and consciousness of the contributions made by African people in global history and culture and celebrating the triumph of our people who emerge from chattel slavery to give the world some of the strongest and most outstanding personalities like Marcus Garvey and musical icons like Bob Marley and Jimmy Cliff and creations that the world, the greatest creations that the world has ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, significant to this African heritage is the cosmic coincidence that has caused Tony Rebel to launch this staging of Rebel Salute today, the December the 27th. Today, December the 27th, is also the anniversary of the start of the Samsha Christmas Rebellion, the Christmas War, the final battle that toppled chattel slavery in Jamaica and the British West Indies. It was today, December 27, in 1831, that an enslaved African woman set the trash house on fire at Toller Castle Estate in Kensington, St. James, and set off a chain of fires as Africans set fire to plantations across St. James, Westmoreland, Hanover, Trelawney, St. Anne, and St. Elizabeth. It was fire everywhere as a passion for freedom burning in our breast converted to flames of freedom. Tonight, I should be in West Milan for that celebration, but I choose to come here tonight as I sent my junior minister, Alando Terrellon, to that function. At the time, our ancestors were not daunted by the brutality of the slavery regime, nor of the military force of the British. For them, they were willing to die on the gallows, as Sam Sharp himself asserted, rather than live one more day of slavery. It was a price they were willing to pay for their children born and yet unborn. When I attended the anniversary last year, I kept asking everyone, so what was this enslaved African woman called? And nobody could tell me. Nobody knew her name. They just knew that she lit the trash house, it set off fires right across Jamaica, and started the Sam Sharp Rebellion. And so I decided I would name her. And so I named her Fire, F-I-Y-A-H, Fire. And so tonight we are celebrating fire. As if to make the moment even more symbolic, ladies and gentlemen, fire reminds me of one of the protégés of the rebel family, Queen Africa, who burns with similar passion and fire for the liberation of the Jamaican people. The story is told that fire took a torch in her hands and stood before the trash house with determination. She already made up her mind as she walked up to the trash house and stated, I know I will die for this, but at least my children will be free. And so tonight, while you're here launching Rebel Salute, I want you all to reflect on the fact that we are here because of fire and those who fought for our freedom. So, in tribute to Tony Rebel, and Queen Africa and the team, I just want to say I know Africa, the lioness on the rise, can understand the power of such a moment when a woman placed her death as the birth of freedom for her children and went willingly to martyrdom. So, 
This significant day for Tony Rebel to have selected to launch Rebel Saloon, to me, is divine intervention. It speaks to the event as a moment when, as Jamaicans, we can again commit to the cause of mental freedom for our people. Indeed, it was Marcus Garvey who asserted that, and I quote, others may free the body, but none but ourselves can free the mind. Rebel understands the role played historically by reggae music in the liberation of oppressed people, particularly African people across the world. Reggae, ladies and gentlemen, is now designated by UNESCO among the masterpieces of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. And I must tell you, when I went to UNESCO with the team, we went there to fight for this inscription because they had already decided that they would refer our nomination for us to come back in another two years. And I decided we're not taking no for an answer. And so we went to UNESCO in Mauritius to that function with a team and we lobbied the countries. And in fact, it was led by Cuba and Palestine and they decided they were going to lead the charge with us. And in the end, absolutely every delegate representing over 190 odd countries voted to overturn the decision that was made by the technical committee. And so we reigned supreme and got our designation. And spontaneously, at the end of my remarks, thanking the delegates, I asked them all to join me in singing one of the place just catch a fire. Trust me, it was an awesome experience that I will never, ever forget. And that is the power of our music and our culture. We have something that we must never take for granted. We have the power in our music. So, as I close, I want to congratulate Rebel and the family on their commitment. And I look forward to a great event from the curtains are raised in the first voices to the final performance, as we would say, the last call. I just hope that, in the words of Jimmy Cliff, another great icon, at that event, which I will be present, the rebel in me will touch the rebel in you, and the rebel we be will make sweet harmony. God bless and guide each and every one. Have a great 2019, and take care. Bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Minister Grange. I, I heard a true story. And because of that, I'm accompanying you straight back to your chair. <laughs> of course, come my darling. Yes, tremendous. Thank you. <laughs> come minister. Never know me, I'm a friend from a long time. Ah, the picture is on the wall? Shh, sir, please. Mr. McNabb, pick up yourself, sir. Somebody will find you a while ago? Yes, ma'am. The wife of the... She fit up, okay. Beautiful wife. Yeah? Yeah. The Nigerian High Commission is here? There's a Nigerian High Commission. Take a look, my name is Mikhail Kamezi. Yes, her! Yes, ma'am. How are you? How are you, man? I'm a comedian. I'm supposed to make these mistakes. Don't worry about it. International comedians make mistakes. Remember the one on the model show, a spike up. We get paid for mistakes. Pelpa TV! Pelpa time! Pelpa time! Room, 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 room! Pelpa time production. Pelpa time. Pelpa time production. The Pelpa TV. For Pelpa time. It's a Pelpa time, you know it's that time. Pelpa time TV. I'm governor representing of a Pelpa time, you know. I win us a Pelpa time, I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa time thing with no coffee. I'm on a Pelpa time, man. I represent for your scene with Pelpa time. Pelpa time right now. Oh, Pelpa time. I want to them, them. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. You're down for Pelpa time productions. Pelpa time production. You represent for Pelpa TV. Pelpa time.
Yeah, let them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about Pelpa time. Keep it locked. Come represent the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa TV, our TV. It's Pelpa time TV. Cross. Pelpa time protection. Mm.